Hello everybody, November 8th. I'm here to do your extended three card draw tarot therapy of the day. Um, if you like what I am doing here on YouTube, please smash the like button below and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and tell your friends and family about me. Um, this is a general reading, so I tell you to take what resonates for you. So we started out with the magician, the number one card, meaning there's a new beginning. I'm just gonna reiterate quickly the three cards. Um, as is above, as is below, you have all the tools to create what you're trying to manifest right now, no excuses. Secondly, we have this sense of victory or winning, harmony, flow, and balance. You are coming into town with your friends around you and celebrating. This will appear before the holidays. Lastly, we get the tower. A tower moment usually means that everything that you are used to has been shooken up and you've got to make some huge changes. It's kind of like a reset. If you look, there's one person falling out of the tower, but there's another person almost diving with a Superman cape. It's really up to you how you want to deal with these problems, but it's really all about your approach. Now we're going to go ahead and pull some other cards and see what else information we can get from our spirit guides. Thank you, spirits. We got the world. Excellent. I love that card under the magician. Can't beat that. Spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. Thank you for those cards. Give us some more cards today. Thank you so much. Whoa, we got too many cards. Like half the deck just fell. <laughs> I, think I, take that. I think that was a mistake. That was just me bad shuffling. All right, there we go. High Priestess. Ooh, there's some very exciting things coming up here, I think. Feels like, yeah. We got Judge. You see all those cards just fly out? That doesn't happen too often with that many cards. Okay, so we got extra cards. That's all right. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, so under that magician where I talk about you've got everything you need to move forward and manifest what you want, you've got the world. This is about closure and possibility. You, When you finally close off the energy of all that stuff that makes no sense and doesn't help you, the world is open to you. Lots of good stuff coming your way, but you've got to resolve and tie up a few loose ends, I feel like. And some of this has to do with... Um, this five of swords energy that we just got underneath that, it came in upside down. And usually when I get an upside down card, I don't necessarily read as an opposite, but what I do is I take a glance at it and the first thing that jumps out to me is what I read. And what I'm seeing is this little guy back here in the yellow. Okay, now yellow is about clarity. He's sort of just quietly walking away. So I feel like whatever's going on in your life right now, probably the best thing you can do is not say much at all. Just take the action, walk away. Don't be involved, don't give it any more energy and that will free up that world energy for you. Under the Six of Wands, where I talk about coming into town with your friends and celebrating right before the holidays, I said it should appear by that point, we do have the High Priestess. This is about connection to your higher powers, your in intuition, your source, God, whatever you want to call it. But um, you also have a duality here. you got the black and the white and the two, the two columns, which represent being on the right path. And the Hierophant is very connected to her spirit guides and her intuition. So I feel like whatever the success says that's coming along is going to be one of those things where you just have this like blip of a moment of maybe I should try that. So here's my advice to you. Try it. There is no harm in trying something. If you fail, you just know move on. As a matter of fact, I did something last night. I tried something new. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. I'm just not going to do it again, but I'm going to change it up. So you can always pivot, but trust that gut instinct, right? And then you get the 10 of pentacles under that. This is all about success, abundance, moving into a new phase of your life. I just see a lot of really good stuff coming for you. And I think it does start right about now. Um, so know that you are about to come into some abundance. These pentacles represent also career, um, finance, sometimes just stability in the home. But whatever it is that you wish, any of those things or all of them, they're on the way. Again, by, by around mid-December, you should start seeing things kind of fall into place and flow very well for you. Under that tower that we talked about where I said there's going to be a shakeup though, and that's always the case. Usually we'll have a shakeup and then as we rebuild, we go, oh, I'm so glad that happened, even though it kind of sucked at the time, right? Um, we do have the judgment card. Hmm, interesting. Again, what did I say about this card? I said reset. This card literally means reset. Look it. You've got an angel tooting his horn telling these three zombies, basically dead people, get up, start again. You're not done yet. This isn't over. There's even some in the background. See that? Um, he's also got the little uh, flag here of of medical. So if you've been ill or under the weather, um, this might be why you've taken a little bit of a break or you haven't been mentally even feeling well. That's also possible or just feeling really just lethargic and out of it, but you're going to start feeling a renewed energy, I believe. But here's the last thing that I want to caution you about. You do get the devil card. Now the devil card isn't necessarily bad. I know that's what we automatically think, especially right under the tower. It's like the tower and the devil, the two cards, everybody fears in the tarot. But the truth is there are no cards you need to fear in the tarot. They're just here to guide and lead you and give you advice. They're not here to scare you. And the devil is all about bad habits, things that we do or patterns that we have in our life that really don't serve us. That's really all it's about. 
Um, you know, like when they say the devil's in the details, it's those little things that sometimes we ignore that can really become big things if we don't deal with them. And so I feel like this tower moment and this reset that we talked about are gonna be very contingent on you recognizing these bad patterns and saying, okay, that is it. I have done this so many times in my life. I am not gonna do this anymore. I am not gonna go back to that person. I'm not gonna go back to that type of work. I'm not gonna go back to those bad eating habits. I'm not gonna go back to spending hours online and ignoring my friends. See what I'm saying? And I feel like even you really need to be clear about that and maybe even write it down. Like I am that it is, I now take better care of myself. I am that it is, I now look for jobs that are fulfilling and make me happy. See what I'm saying? Change your mind, change your, don't start going, I don't want this and I don't want that. That does not help you at all. What do you want? And sometimes people don't know what they want and that's why they keep saying, I don't want this, I don't want that, I don't want this, I don't want this, but they have no idea what they want. So this is the time to think about those things. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into a second tarot deck. I'm gonna go ahead and divide this deck by three piles, pick them up. I'm gonna go ahead and see if any of the same cards come out or anything new that might help you. But wow, those are some really powerful straight messages. Yeah, you got another... <laughs> First card you got, again, look at Magician. Again, totally different deck. Look, they're really trying to say to you, this is your time to manifest and stop making excuses. It's right here. Wow. And guess what else you got? Seven of Swords. Interesting. So you got the Five of Swords in that same column. Remember I talked about like sort of walking away going, yeah, I'm over it. And not really making a big whoop about it. You don't have to do like some final discussion. Just say, yeah, this isn't working. Bye. You know, whatever it is. Job, friends, relationship, whatever. But then you get the Seven of Swords. And this is an interesting card because it's a very similar card, except it just shows one person, not other people involved. And he's running away with Five of Swords. He's dropped two hints, right? And I feel like sometimes um, we're so busy looking at what we've seen accumulate over time, like a, a, like a re what do I say, repeated pattern, that we don't realize that there's other ways we can go. And swords are about ideas, communication, and the truth. And I feel like sometimes when we're hiding from the truth, we're taking weird paths. Like we're, like, like for example, um, let's say you apply for a job thinking, okay, this job pays really well, the benefits are great, it's near my house, blah, 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 but it's a job you freaking hate, like something you don't like doing. Like for me, I hate executive assisting. I used to do it all the time. I hate working for executives, but yet I kept applying for executive assisting jobs because I knew I knew how to do it. I knew the money was good, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as I said, you know, instead of being an executive assistant, what if I helped a company at a higher level doing something else? And I knew that I loved marketing. And so that's what I got into. So what I'm saying to you is maybe there's a different role for you to play in your life right now that is more close to your authentic self. And that's hard to figure out because we get so used to pushing that authentic self aside for so many years. When it finally comes to the point where you say, what do you really want? People go, uh, a uh, million dollars, uh, uh, a really nice boyfriend, uh, you know, like, you can't go through life with no idea of what your destination is. It's bad enough you don't have a map that you have zero destination. <laughs> You're just gonna be like a leaf in the in the brook being knocked around by the rocks, right? <laughs> That's how I look at it. All right, let's see if anything else comes out for you right now. Spirits, ancestors, guys, thank you for all these really insightful cards today. Anything else you wanna give our viewers? Oh, now you got three of swords. More about the truth. King of pentacles, bottom deck the star. Ooh, I like, I like, I like. So under that tower where I talk about this big shakeup, and then we talk about resetting and getting rid of those old bad habits and patterns, we do have the Three of Swords reversed. Three of Swords is all about regret, sadness, feeling like something got screwed up badly, okay? And, um, you know, you look, she's sort of reflecting here. Three Energy is about creation and expansion. So every time we go through these tough times, these painful moments, we always grow from them. We don't like that. Growth hurts. It's scary, but it's necessary as humans. We're always reaching to be a better person if we if we really are living the true human experience, right? Because we got lucky enough to become a human from a spirit, we need to take advantage of that. So yes, you've had heartache. Yes, you've had disappointed. Who the hell hasn't? Stop waving that flag around. I've been hurt. I've been cheated. I'm gonna... Who cares? It's a flag. It's tattered at this point. You've been waving it way too much. Put that flag away. <laughs> My cousin gave me that phrase about waving the flag. I love it. <clears throat> then I get the King of Pentacles. This dude's very straightforward, very secure in himself, obviously financially wealthy, um, but not stingy at all. But he's also not frivolous. He, he keeps a good balance going. Um, and he's not all about money. He's also about stability 
and foundational things. So I feel like right now, and this is the time to build up some stability in your life. You've had a lot of shakeup. Like I said, that tower is going to come along. This is a time to rebuild, but really look at the solid foundation for yourself. What's super important? What are your priorities? That's going to help lead you in the right direction. And then that's when this hierophant's going to step in and go, okay, now you know your priorities. Let me lead you to the next thing that's going to help you fulfill those priorities. But again, if you have no compass, if you have no aim, it's going nowhere. All right. And then lastly, I love that this card showed up. This is the star. That's one of my favorite cards. The star is all about hope, dreams, wish fulfillment, but it's also about balance. Look, she's pouring from two different viewers. The, the water represents your emotion. Um, she's trying to keep her emotions in balance, but she also is very hopeful, very excited about what's in the future, and you should be too. This card tells me that there's tons of hope. There's tons of options for you. They're all coming. Think about all the stars in the sky. That's how many options there are for you. Love it. This is a really good reading today. I'm excited about it. All right, now we're going to jump into my vintage deck, see if any other um, words of wisdom or special inspiration comes along for you. Spirits, ancestors, guides, and energies. Any other cards today for the collective, anyone who's reading? And again, it always throws it on the floor. I should just put a table right there to, to like a net. <laughs> it's like the spirit goes here. And throws this. Oh, we got change. What did I say? Tower moment. Yeah, it's all about change. You I mean, look, she's she's trying to hide from the wind, but that owl's just they're like, you know, she's hiding from the winds of change. She doesn't like it, but the owl's going, dude, I'm sitting here in a tree. I'm okay. I'm smaller than you. You perceive this as this huge, crazy tornado coming towards you, but he's going, yeah, it's really not that bad. Really not that bad. So just know when the change comes along, go, I can handle anything that's thrown my way. I can handle this. I can totally handle this. And I'm actually going to come out of this better than I started. That's what I want you to tell yourself. You really need to start talking to yourself in that very positive way. All right, now we're going to pull from the Enchanted Maps deck. Spirits, Ancestors, Guides, and Energies. Go ahead and give me a card today or two for the collective. Anything that will help them in their journey moving forward. Oh, there we go. Card fill out. Let's see what this is. Storm fields. Isn't that funny? We are just talking about a storm. Was I just talking about that? And you got storm fields. No surprise. Nine energy. It's about resolution. What do we talk about? There's something. There's a new cycle coming along. Absolutely. The thing about this card that's interesting is, look, up in the front here, it's all pristine. The, the grass is all trimmed. You got little mushrooms and fairies and flowers and this pretty little pathway with the checkers. It's all very cute and pretty, right? Look back here. There's something going on by this house right here. Something in the home it is roiling, is going crazy. We're getting a cyclone back here. So I feel like that's your that represents your emotions, maybe even what's going on in your house. There's still a lot of shit going on with you. Sorry to use that word, but um, you're trying to act like everything's okay, and it's not. You still have stuff you got to work on. Some people like to call it shadow work. I don't like to use too many labels, but there's some past hurts that probably need to process a little bit, like I said, to get out of those bad patterns. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pull from my spirit animal deck, see what animal comes to mind today for giving you a little bit of an inspiration or a characteristic to kind of think about in the days coming forward. This card is really standing out to me. Yeah, you got the elephant, greatness. I love this card, not pretty. Greatness. Here's what it says. Love is your strength. Okay, so hear this. Love is your strength. Leadership is your path. So love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Interesting. So that means you might be somebody who needs to be in charge a little more. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. What did I say? I said you're going to come into town celebrating, right? Talked about problems. We talked about reset. This card is so appropriate. So think of the elephant. All right. Lastly, we love to pull from our Moonology deck. I love this deck. It's always got a little phase in the moon. I think last night was a blood moon, I believe. Might even been an eclipse as well. Uh, I am not an astrologer. I'm not going to pretend that I am, but I just, you know, I hear all my other colleagues that do this sort of work tell I kind of about it. So a lot of crazy energy going on right now, you know? Kind of quiet. I've been having trouble sleeping for some reason. I've not been sleeping well. I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it. it very well could. All right, we got nothing will come of this situation, void of course moon. So it's saying that nothing tragic is going to happen. It's not going to be, you know, it, it is going to be life-changing, but it's not going to be like, oh my God, I have to go live under a bridge, right? It's not to that level. I think you don't need to over-dramatize a situation. Even if it seems really like insurmountable when it happens, I really feel like it's not going to be as bad as you think. As a matter of fact, I think it's going to end up being a good thing in the end. And I think you're going to have a lot of growth. Oh, two more cards jumped out. We got hold your vision. Fixed moon, meaning don't back down, hold your ground. And then we got um, full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so in this reset, like I said to you, you can't just go, well, I just don't want this. You have to have a little bit of a plan. Practical, it doesn't mean you have to plan it down to the nth degree. It just means say, okay, if I want to get a new job, first I should probably update my resume. Okay, maybe I should create a cover letter. Great, maybe I should go find an outfit to wear to the interview. You know, like set the intention clearly to the universe that you are serious. 
So there's an example. All right, everybody, you have an amazing, today is Tuesday, right? And we still have more to come this week. I really appreciate you being here. You have a awesome day. And find me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, even on LinkedIn. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Miss Molly knows. Mwah. And please like, subscribe, or share.